Hey guys, and welcome to Welcome from Mindrin. Uh, I am Brett, and uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back. We were supposed to be doing a five-part mini-series from GameX, uh, and Game uh, Video 5 is supposed to be uh, on the tournament we did. However, um, we're still doing some editing on that, and uh, I have a video a documentary by one of my students, Nick Kirby, uh, who's been a student of mine from SCBI, the charter school I teach the board game design class at. Uh, out in Castilla, California. He put a video documentary together on his own about his board game and the, and the development stages that he's gone through. Uh, and honestly, since the video, uh, the, the game itself has, has even changed even since uh, his documentary. Um, it's a great game, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and he put this video together. So here's his video, enjoy, and I'll see you after the video's over. The basic concept of my game is uh, you and your team of adventurers are exploring a dungeon. Uh, you collect treasure, you kill monsters, and then the more treasure you get, uh, the stronger your character becomes. And the ultimate goal of the game is for you and your team to find and defeat the boss. The art direction was inspired very much by Tolkien's books like The Silmarillion, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. The descriptions he has in there are very good. Also, um, just the Dungeons and Dragons books in general have got great artwork. I looked a lot at those, particularly for the Beholder, because I'll be honest, I don't really know what a Beholder looks like. I mean, it's a big floating eyeball with kind of tentacle thingies, so there we go. Uh, my first impression of Nick's game is it's a great concept, it's a great genre, um, and Nick has a really good start on this project. Originally, I based my game around uh, an old computer game that I used to play, and I just thought about it one day, and I was like, hey, that would work well as a board game. Uh, and then obviously since then, uh, it's evolved, and I feel that it's better than the old desktop game. Well, when I first played it, I didn't really know what it, the class was or what any of it was, so I was kind of like, oh, okay, I heard you have a game, so let me play it. I thought it was a lot of fun at first, but like when I first played it, there was a lot of holes, I should say. Because so my first experience with it was a huge snowball effect was existing at the time. And so as we're playing it, a specific person who was playing with us got extremely, extremely overpowered. And so that was like one of the first problems that were fixed. So the process of making the art, it was mostly looking at pictures from things like the D&D Monster Handbook and using references online to kind of get a basic picture. I brought out a sketch, a sketch in pencil, fill in the shading, and then I go over it in black fine liner to define the edges more. Uh, in the process of making my game, uh, some problems that we've had was that it, the game tends to be too easy, and it's been hard, like making it the game more challenging, but yet not impossible. Some of the problems with the game, though, we don't really call them problems. They just some mechanics that need to be worked out. Uh, I would say that there needs to be an optional shorter version of the game so people can play uh, shorter games versus the longer games, um, like a 15 30 minute version. Um, one of the other uh, things that I would recommend would be to have uh, more mechanics uh, beta tested on the monster plane. Uh, it's a fairly new as, as we've been experiencing this next game, but definitely uh, working through by doing beta testing and working through the game mechanics so that the monster can be more playable by a person. Um, that would help with the game as far as I'm concerned. I still think the board setup might be a bit of a kind of drag at the start. But I mean, if you're buying the game, you probably are aware of that maybe, but I still feel like the giving too much option and freedom there might lead to some confusion in the players who buy it. But other than that, I didn't really see a whole lot of problems. Other than, of course, early encounters can sometimes be very, very powerful. And, of course, the um, what happens if you die 
because the solution is just, oh, they come back with one less HP. Although I think they should come back if they start talking to you, but that was it. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with how the game has evolved. Um, I'm just thinking back. Uh, originally, we had just little slip, slips of paper with no art on it, just numbers and brief descriptions. And now we have four cards that are printed and have art and are look very official. It's cool to see Nick's project go from concept to a real beta testing version. Uh, it's been really cool to see the evolution of the game go from concepts and drawings and computer, uh, you know, sketches on the or computer sketches uh, to actual cards and playing. And every time we play, there seems to be something a little newer added to it. Um, and I, I love watching the evolution of that game go from the beginnings it went through to current version. And can't wait to see what happens in the in the future. Hi guys, and welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed Nick's video. Um, I, I can tell you firsthand that since the video uh, was made, uh, which was not that long ago, a lot has been done to his game, and it has it's so much better than, than what he leads on to. Uh, and Nick, I have to say, great job on the video, great job on the game. I love the fact that I've, I've watched this, this game go from sitting at a table trying to come up with an idea to a playable version and I can't wait to see if, what he does over the summer to make it better. Um, with that said, this is going to be a shorter video. Uh, if you guys have any comments, please comment below. If you have, uh, if you, and please like and subscribe. We need the love and the likes. Uh, please do that and uh, let us know how we're doing. If there's any other shows and topics you'd like to see, please do. Um, uh, give me some some feedback. I'd like to I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, also, make sure that you um, stay tuned and hit those notification bells. And uh, you guys take care. And we'll see you next week on Welcome from Mindred. Love you guys. Bye. Why is my sword on fire? <laughs>